Hey folks, Sean here. Uh, just a little announcement before we get into this episode. As you are all well aware, the state of the world is a bit shite at the moment. And due to that fact, we started recording this episode before everything went bad. But as luck would have it, things went bad right in the middle of our usual recording schedule. So this second half is a remote recording. So audio quality may not be quite up to snuff, but hopefully our editor knows a trick or two to at least make it bearable. Thank you for your patience. This is Anime Out of Context, a comedy review podcast hosted by a weeb of the highest order alongside a cynical man who knows nothing about anime. Our show features spoilers, explicit language, and poor fact-checking. Neither of our hosts are experts on any topic, and none of their opinions should be taken as fact. Thank you for listening, and enjoy. Hello, and welcome to Anime Out of Context, the show where I attempt to explain the sometimes weird, sometimes wonderful, but always hilarious world of anime. And if I got a nickel for every time anime had hurt me deeply... I'd be able to afford a yacht by now. I'm Sean Rollins. I'm Remington Chase. But Remington, that could be con- misconstrued as slavery. I I know, it really could be. Uh, and if you don't know what I'm, we're talking about... No, just don't explain it. To, you don't need to. If you're a patron, you get it. If not, you don't. But that's okay. We still love you if you're not a patron. But yacht slavery. <laughs> <laughs> we go into very interesting topics in exchange for your money. I feel so bad for them not understanding. Yeah, same. Uh, but, Remington, we're kind of at an interesting place in the world right now. Uh, because, obviously, what you are referencing is Liverpool having an unprecedented winning record in soccer. Do you know anything about soccer? Soccer? English football? There we go. Uh, I, I know that fact. And also... Uh, Then that leads into, of course, the relevant fact you're probably talking about and how they weren't able to finish the season because of a certain little disease that's been spreading around. Yeah, our our old buddy COVID-19 is kind of running rampant and honestly, a little concerning. A little bit concerning. Uh, Reminder to everyone. Uh, wash your hands, social distance, don't fuck your sister. That's a, that's a yeah, guaranteed that's a way one. to spread it. And, and while we're at it, we don't want a bunch of COVID-19 babies in the near future. So <laughs> I know you have to isolate, but at least isolate yourself with some protection. They may be taking the toilet paper, but I'm pretty dang sure condoms are still available. I remember when I was a COVID-19 incest baby. <laughs> what a time to be alive. <laughs> Well, you are. I don't know where I was going with that, but it felt right. You are a timeless being, so it's fine. I say as I then, like, stroke my face, uh, don't touch your face also. That's the thing you shouldn't do. Yeah, it's one of those weird things where you're just like, I should not do this, and then immediately go to do it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so remember, everyone, don't touch your face. I know you just tried to touch your face. Don't fucking touch your face. I know you really want to. You got an itch right now. Don't do it. Especially you, Susie. Put your hands down. All right, so uh, so yeah, we're, we're going through a, a little bit of, of a crisis. So I'm sure what everyone would like is, is a, a nice anime to take their mind off of the impending crisis. Well... <laughs> <laughs> Take your mind off the crisis. If, if, if you chose like a zombie apocalypse style anime, then I, it, it's it's a bold move. I will say that. Well, <laughs> it's not zombies. <laughs> All right. Uh, what, what what exactly are we doing this week, Sean? I mean, it's going to be thematically appropriate, but now I'm <laughs> questioning whether or not it was a good idea. Well, uh, we, well, you you've already started this train, so now uh, everybody, including me, is morbidly curious. I say that they know what it, what's happened. Well, Remington, they they can read the title. They know what you're about to say. I don't. Well, Remington, I have a very interesting anime that I want to talk to you about today, and that anime uh, came out in, uh, relatively recently, actually, 2018. I, I like to hear that. Newer anime tend to be better anime. Uh, and it is thematically appropriate, to say the least, and I wanted to talk about it because I figured, you know, with all the events of the world going down, I should bump it up in my list a bit, make it more interesting, make it more topical. Uh, you know, might garner some more attention. Now that I think about it, it might garner the wrong kind of attention. <laughs> oh, yes. Because as as we recall, uh, nearly two decades ago, uh, when a certain tragedy struck the World Trade Center, everyone was immediately like, oh, my airplane movie needs to release now then. It's topical. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Scale it back a bit. <laughs> Because uh, the show I chose... It, it, it's why Doom rushed its sequel immediately after hearing about Columbine. <laughs> I mean, you say that, 
it, but Doom is coming out uh, in the month of March. <laughs> see, it's all just just delightful death and destruction as far as the eye can see. All right, uh, what what tactless anime have you recklessly chosen for us this week? Okay, the show I've chosen for you is one that is simply known as a. Uh, Hataraku Saibu. Uh, all right, so Hataraku Saibu. What, what, what's wrong with Hataraku Saibu? That's a different show, right? <laughs> uh, otherwise known as Cells at Work. Uh, okay, Um. here's my guess for this. I think we are watching the anime version of Osmosis Jones. I was hoping you wouldn't make that reference. I but... got to make that reference because I think we're watching Weeby Osmosis Jones. Osmosis Jones, shown in every science classroom at least once a year, especially if it's a biology classroom, anytime the teacher wants an off day. Did that actually happen for you? So many fucking times. That is, n- that's not a good movie to show people. It's happened so because many Because it's a bad times. movie. It, what are you talking about? It was my childhood, you motherfucker. Oh, it was mine too. But have you watched it recently? No, of course not. That would ruin me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, no. A hot take here. Not great. Movies are so much better when you are you're you don't have to do an assignment. You just have to watch the movie. When you're watching them in class in lieu of schoolwork, it's amazing. Well... Uh, the show Sells at Work, Remington, is basically that. It is a edutainment show. It's a show about uh, the inner workings of the human body, and it actually is very good with its information and uh, explains how the human body works and all, how all the different cells function to keep the city of the human body running, uh, all while being amusing, cute, and quite violent. Uh, 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 mm. Let's just say white blood cells are pretty mean to bacteria and viruses. Okay, I have, I have a question, John. Yes? Are all of the cells cute anime girls? Not all of them. God damn it. <laughs> 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 I, 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 I thought it would generally go in that direction. That, w- that was uh, my prediction. Even though it's not all of them, it's definitely some of them, which uh, just feels a little bit... Un- I, I don't know how they animeify this. I'm interested and worried. Uh... It's a lot more simple than you'd think. Take the normal cells, turn them into anime girls. Okay. (laughs) Yep, there we are. Okay, is this... This feels like it would be in the same vein as a banana. Uh, kind of, except it's actually a full-length show. That is unexpected. (laughs) I am surprised. Yeah, no, it's a slice-of-life, uh show but quite literally it's slices of these living cells is there and a police detective character not quite. is there a pill robot no is there a real spooky i forget exactly what he was but he had a danger claw uh yes okay cool there's a danger claw all right <laughs> several <laughs> oh, oh boy yeah no uh the infection or whatever yeah uh no uh not all of them are cute anime girls, of course. Uh, the two main characters are the red blood cell. Uh, yep, all right. Uh, she's your typical cute anime girl, and her job is literally to carry packages of oxygen and carbon dioxide throughout the body. So all the red blood cells are little like uh, male workers, and it's really cute. Uh, although she's kind of bad at her job. Uh, oh, I mean, that's to be expected because you need to be like, oh, it's so cute, and she'll and, like, stumble and trip and be a klutz. Yeah, and the white blood cells are like the police force, like in yeah, yeah, Osmosis yeah. Jones. Except rather than you know you know American police, uh, whenever they see a cell, they just stab it with a with a hunting knife. Oh, okay. You know. So they're American cops. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> After gun uh, gun enforcement really cracks down. But but nothing has been done about police brutality. No, in fact, it got it's gotten worse. That, that, that's one hell of a future. And it's amazing. like congratulations, uh, you will you will get. Some some gun control. However, we will amplify police brutality. So give and take. <laughs> and the thing about this anime is it's educational, but also very entertaining. Like I actually learned about some of the different functions of the of the uh, different cells, and I went and uh, did my own research to confirm this fact. And for the most part, everything was pretty dang accurate. All the things the red blood cells do, the white blood cells do. Uh, the uh, exact procedures related to getting rid of bad things in your system, whether the white blood cells eats them, eats them, or d- destroys them, or whatever you want to phrase it well, as. Well, th- this is also quite timely, because I uh, have actually uh, been taking a human bio course all about cells and tissues and whatnot, so I will be able to scrutinize it with my pretty much lack of knowledge. I I, I don't have much, but hey, maybe it'll help me on a test. I mean, you have a Osmosis Jones. That's what I'm going to compare it to. Essentially, the question is, for me, will cells at work 
be better than the memory of Osmosis Jones. Okay, hold on. <laughs> that is the most biased bullshit you've said in a while. All I have is my memory of it, Sean. I'm going to have to show you the show, aren't I? Uh, No. No? <laughs> I'd rather not. You don't want to watch Bill Murray being disgusting? Uh, and, well, and then the follow-up question is, do we watch the movie or do we watch the actual television show? Oh, I forgot there was a show. There was a TV series. It was also bad. I And made no sense. I think I liked it when I was really young. I can't remember. It's true. It's true. They were in a different body. How'd that happen? Yeah, that, that was my big question. I forget how that happened. Like, Did they explain that? No, they didn't. They, they talk about how they used to be in Frank, and now they were in this other person who has nothing to do with Frank. Why do I remember this? At one point, doesn't Osmosis Jones meet, like, a pink white blood cell, and he wants to fuck it? <laughs> Maybe it wasn't a white blood cell, but it was just basically a, a pink version of him. They did, like, I feel like that happened. I, I, I don't know about that. I know he had a love. Sean, I have a question. What's your question? Are white blood cells horny? <laughs> I think mine are. Because <laughs> I, I rarely get sick. Oh, God. And who knows? They might be in the anime, too. It's hard to say. Oh, God. Uh, the answer is no to that, though. Oh, thank God. Uh, and ultimately, Rem, this show is delightful. I love it. Uh, and so do so many others. Like, it's just so good in a lot of ways that if you find reason to hate it, then people just won't really have any uh, faith for you in the future. Granted, they didn't have well, much to begin with. But... <laughs> I, I have been known for... Crushing people's faith in me. And crush some faith you shall. So, Remington, without further ado, let's go watch some cells at work. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back after consuming three whole episodes of the hit 2018 anime, Hataraku Saibo, or Cells at Work. And Remington, uh, how are you feeling, both uh, physically and uh, about the anime? <laughs> you know, uh, well, uh, physically, I, I, I'm I fine. There's been uh, some speculation that I, I've caught the, the COVID, uh, but but that isn't true. Um, you just went as hardcore for... into the isolation. Yeah, exactly. As for the anime, uh, yeah, I mean, it was, it was, it was an anime. Remington. I, I, <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest, Sean. My, I, first of all, I do have some in-depth thoughts about this. However, the in-depth thoughts I have about cells at work is mostly unrelated to anything relevant. Oh, good. Oh, so great. it's going to be one of those kinds of episodes. I just want you to be prepared. It's going to be one of those God kinds of episodes. Man, I threw you a softball with this one. I no, and I, 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 I enjoyed it. It was, it was charming. Uh, I, I mean, yeah, that's that's what there is to say about this show. <laughs> okay. You don't sound very pleased with your hey, it's, it's, not, it's not that I'm not pleased. It's it's just that I'm not enthused. I'm I'm not thrilled. I'm not excited. Uh sales at work was it was fine. It was good. It was pleasant. Uh and 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 that, that that's basically it. Uh which, which is not a bad thing, but it is a thing. Uh let, let, let's start. so it, it's about you got this red blood cell girl, she's all nice and clumsy. You got this this white blood cell dude who's just sort of like quiet, edgy and honorable. So Dylan. Uh, so Dylan, yeah. Uh then you have uh ah oh shit, I forgot all the categories and I didn't write them down. You guys know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just basic human biology, man. Don't you know all of your cells and what they do? Uh, I, I'll be honest. I'm, I'm more familiar with the cells in the human body than I am with the anime variations of those cells. <laughs> I mean, my dude, they do some really pretty spot-on anthropomorphization of all of those cells. Uh, yeah, but however, uh, to, to give everyone a, a peek behind the curtain, it's been a couple of weeks. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I, I'm, I'm having to enter into my my brain two weeks ago watching anime, and that that's that's difficult. That's you can't even remember what you had for breakfast yesterday. Exactly, it's a struggle. Uh, but I remember the main points. I remember the important things that I want to say. Just some of the details are gonna be missing. Okay, I'll try to fill them in as best as possible, but. So in the first episode, we very quickly, uh, we see the nice slice of life. We view a lot of other elements of, of the world. And then we are introduced to the main point of the episode. And it's that uh, that a, a virus of, of some kind, I can't remember what it was. Uh, pneumococcus. Pneumococcus, of course, pneumococcus. Pneumococcus has arrived and they want to fuck shit up, right? And so they, they show up and they, pneumococcus is like a DBZ villain. Straight yep. up. <laughs> like, oh yeah. <laughs> there's some strong Dragon Ball Z vibes going on. Like a weird mix of Cell and Frieza, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, and it was it was very strange. Uh and and there are a bunch of them. They all uh fight, but one of them gets away. Uh, a bunch of white blood cells are the ones killing him and stuff. Um it's here we enter an existential question that I'm going to save for later. Uh, it, okay. it, it's the most interesting slash confusing thing about the show. Uh, that's why I want to save it for later. And so the episode is all about, uh, the red blood cell girl. She's getting lost and white blood cell dude. He's helping her out while also trying to manage pneumococcus. Uh, and, and the first episode was probably the best out of the three we saw, I think. Yeah. Okay. Because the first episode actually, like, captured me. There's a nice OP. It's very charming. You get a nice blend of sort of slice of life mixed with some shonen elements uh, and and a few other genres just, like, thrown in there. And I was digging that. I, was, I enjoyed seeing the world, seeing quite a bit of it. And indeed, you'll see more and more of the world as we continue on. Uh, but there is... There's one, well, there's two prominent flaws with this show uh, that I think really show up in episodes two and three. In episode one, of course, they they end up finding Pneumococcus. They do defeat Pneumococcus, and uh, everything is is hunky dory, charming. It's it's uh, it's a solid episode. It's a good episode one. But wait, oh wait, I, I forgot. In episode one, also, we are introduced to the best characters. Platelets. Damn right, it's the platelets. How could it not be the platelets? Oh God. God, I love the platelets. You the usually platelets. don't have a strong Moe reaction to things that are humanoid. Uh, I, I rarely do. It's true. Uh, but when when they're like adorable young children done right, then I can. Uh, there, there's a few cases of this. Like, oh, for example, in uh, in Promise Neverland, what was his name? Phil. Phil. Like Phil, for example, right? Uh, it doesn't happen very often. Normally, my Moe response is only for non-human things. Uh, but sometimes... If it's good enough, it can seep through the cracks, and the platelets definitely do. They nail it. They're amazing. I love them. They're so charming. Oh, they're, they're so great. They're, like, as as charming, like, go back to all the way to, like, Sweetness and Lightning, right? Think of, like, the shark song from Sweetness and Lightning. Like, that is the energy that the platelets give off, and I am here for it. <laughs> some, some strong Samugi vibes. Hell yeah. Uh, then we have episode two. Episode two... Uh, refresh my memory real quick. Uh, it was about the scrape wound. Ah, yes. Episode two, we get uh, a scrape wound, uh, a big gaping hole in the city, a bunch of germs coming through, uh, and, and things are looking dire. Things are looking real rough, right? And and it's this episode that sort of starts declining in my mind. Because the first episode, I thought, oh, you know what? I really like how they're blending all of these different genres together in an interesting way, and I hope we see more of that. In a weird way, this, this show is just like, a, like a chill shonen is sort of how I would categorize this show uh, because it it's focuses on the action. So far, three episodes for three are really focused on the action. It is there's a big bad germ. We need to stop the big bad germ by beating the crap out of it. And and that, that's sort of disappointing because I want to see how like they handle other issues in different ways. And that just hasn't really been seen a whole lot, which is... Uh... I don't know. I hope I was hoping for for more variety, and unfortunately, they're giving me a whole lot of this single one thing, which was interesting to see a little bit of, but not like ridiculously amazing to see a lot of. Okay. Well, this is definitely sounding like an atypical Remington issue because I don't think I've ever heard anybody complain about this before. 
And I understand that uh, as the man of the people, it's up to me to bring up the issues that otherwise aren't going to get brought up. Sean, that's my role. That's what I do. It sounds more like your role is to find a new way to piss people off, even if you can't really come up with anything super in depth. Hey, the, I think this is, I, I could go more into depth, uh, especially if it hadn't been a couple weeks, but just the fact that so far every single episode has focused on here is a germ that has come, now we must beat it by fighting it. Like, that's just not as interesting to me. It would be more interesting, uh, like even in an episode two, they, they discuss like dealing with the, the scrape itself, they bring the platelets in, uh, all of them help to, to rebuild that back up. I would like to see more of that where it's just like we're dealing with just standard issues that happen. Oh no, you have this going on. Well, this is how it would be fixed in our anthropomorphized anime kind of way. And that would be way more interesting than just, all right, this week's germ is this this okay. is how we're going to fight this germ so uh with this anime it is very much heavily focused on uh what goes on in the circulatory system that is certain because you know the main two characters are obviously blood cells so yeah and a lot uh, this is this the show has a dual purpose as i stated it's both educational and entertaining well uh, yeah but you can be entertaining in like many different ways it, you don't you don't need to just be monster of the week and i think monster of the week is a real weird format for an anime like this. Well, it's not just Monster of the Week. It's more about trying to figure out how each of these different complex issues are treated differently uh, by the cells. It is very much focused on like the uh, non-standard day of life thing, but it's it done in a way where all the characters are dealing with these various crises and how uh, the solutions to each crisis is different from the previous one. I am like sort of. It's different in the details, but it's the exact same in the overall idea. Like in, in episode three, uh, we, we have a, a naive T-cell, right? Yep. And, uh, and, and he, he, he's too weak to fight off the, the big bad, uh, there, it's a zombie flu. Uh, it's influenza, yes. Yeah. So, Cause the, cause the infecting all the normal with, cells. Uh, were bacteria primarily. This one's an actual virus in comparison. Yeah, and so it's infecting all the normal cells, uh, which, which unf I, I'm a little bit disappointed that they're just like default cells that they don't really care to elaborate upon. Uh, but not like super disappointed. It was just a, a slight decision where I was like, eh, they could have they could have put in a little bit more effort there. I mean, my dude, you know how many different types of cells there are in a living organism? If they wanted to do more detail for each individual one in such a way that it would uh, heavily differentiate them, it would take four fucking ever. Well, no, I'm not saying that you need to do one for different each single kind. I'm just saying they have they genuinely have a cell that it, well, like a, a type of person you can tell by their outfit and uh, their clothes and stuff and and this cell is just cell and all the others are specific and it's disappointing that in the zombie episode it just infects all the default cells and you don't see it uh interacting with anything else in any meaningful way or those default cells being anything other than yeah they're cells of some sort don't worry about it uh and so it's not a huge decision it was just slightly disappointing uh, but you, you have a naive T-cell, he feels incapable of properly doing his job, he's real frightened, uh, unlike the killer T-cells, and so he's nervous, and and you have this little arc about him uh, being able to become a, a nice killer T-cell and kick an ass. Uh, and and that's, that's nice, that was at least a, a bit interesting, uh, but once again, it still just revolves around Monster of the Week, gotta beat him, gotta kick his ass, and, and that just, it, it gets real repetitive real quickly, uh, as well as the fact that that this show, it's not a super tight show. Uh, this show, it, it, it has a, a nice slow pacing, which can be okay, but it's a weird when it's like slow pacing mixed with high action and it just feels a little bit muddled and confused. And I feel like a lot of the time, nothing was really progressing or moving forward. Uh, and a lot of time, I, like, I just wasn't even enjoying myself. I got bored. I got bored a little bit at times. Oh, God. And what, what I feel like could have solved it is like, if these were half length episodes, like if... If you did sort of the, the Western style, I don't know if it does it, because I know we've seen like vignette anime, right? Where there's many different scenes uh, yes. disjointed in one. But uh, one thing that you see a lot with, 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 with Western cartoons for younger viewers is in a 30 minute block in one quote unquote episode, you will have two separate arcs. 
Hey folks, it's uh, it's me again. Uh, not only did we have a very interesting time recording the second half, but we also lost half of the second half. So here we are yet again, trying to record the second half for you. So hopefully it'll still have that fresh feel to it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll admit it, it does risk losing the, the spontaneity a bit, at least on our end, because we have already finished discussing it completely, but we want to share the discussion with you. So we shall uh, have the discussion yet again, uh, potentially with even more new insights than we had the first time. Uh, yeah, and if you don't believe us on that, you'll never hear that second half, because it's gone to the ether, so... <laughs> We will have to make do with what we got. Uh, so, as I was saying uh, before, I rudely got interrupted by technological uh, malpractice. Or your own incompetence when it comes to technology. Why not both? Uh, here at Anime Co Out of Context, we are all... The technology hates us, and we hate it back. That's just how it's worked. Uh, but, as I was saying, uh, with, when it comes to cells at work, I think it, the show would be a lot more effective if it was done in, uh, in, in a Western style, where you had... Like two episodes per episode, right? Two arcs, two uh, two main stories per episode, and it was just cut right in the middle. Maybe even three of them. Uh, so then it would just be a lot more condensed, a lot more interesting. It would be a lot. I, th I think it would enhance everything: the action, the comedy, the charm. Like that is the solution for this show, in my opinion. Yes, and your opinion, of course, is the one that you really is. It's the only one you care about personally. Uh, I mean, yes. <laughs> I've said many times the weeb's opinion do not matter to me. Whereas everybody I've talked to who has seen this show finds it uh, charming and enjoyable without uh, any of those issues. Uh, well, sure, and it's a bit charming and a bit adorable, but it could be more. Nothing's ever good enough for you, Rem. Hey, hey, I like, this is, I, I'm not saying that Cells at Work is bad, right? I'm just saying it has a lot of room for improvement. And that improvement can be made relatively easily. And, and so here I am, uh, serving, giving my free consulting services on how to make great anime. Uh, normally, I charge for that privilege uh, to all the biggest studios, as you well know. Uh, I, I obviously have... You have DC Comics films, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm responsible for, for the utmost quality in all things. Uh, but but it, it, it's that... Because, because it tries to uh, elongate and fill it out so much, I, I struggle with it at times. Yeah, man, I guess it's just definitely a you problem. It's definitely a difference in values for you because uh, speaking from the perspective uh, that I, uh, you know, oh so uniquely have, uh, that being which I watched far too much anime, more than humans should probably consume in, uh, on a regular basis, uh, I found it to be a bit on the slow pace side, yes, but overall I enjoyed every moment of it and it was charming throughout. I kept uh, learning new things as well as uh, relearning some things I had forgotten about because for those of you who don't know, I like learning miscellaneous things about science and the human body and all kinds of weird stuff like that. So this show was always a delightful experience for me. And honestly, your complaint of it being more battle-centric Monster of the Week thing is fair enough, but at the same time, uh, the whole premise of the show c tends to focus on the immune system as a whole, which is, you know, where it really wanted to focus and excel at so it could drag in that shonen fan base. And, and that is, it's fine. Uh, however, it's also fine for me to point out that that is not the most interesting decision for my personal tastes. However, with all this being said, Sean, uh, I mentioned previously that there is one deep philosophical question that has confounded and bewildered me about this show. Yeah. Uh, now... The second you, you, time you, around, you. it's going to be just as shocking and absurd. Like, I, I, I'm just now remembering what it was you said, and I thought to myself, uh, I could probably react to this better, but no, no, no. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be about the same reaction, so you don't have to worry about authenticity there, because you... Uh, I cannot believe we, I've known you for this long. <laughs> well, let me present it to, uh, to the listeners for the first time and to Sean for the second time. So, in episode one, they have a, a nice little action scene, the pneumococcus versus all the white blood cells, uh, and, and quite a few pneumococci are fighting. Pneumococci? Pneumococcuses? Pneuma... Pneumococcuses? Pneumococcuses? Pneuma... Uh, I, I'm pretty sure it's just a standard pneumococcus. Pneumococcal? Oh, okay, uh, no. Absolutely you got all the pneumococcal. 
I, you are not allowed to call it that. I refuse. They're, they're, they're getting stabbed and everything, and they... Uh, from from them they do not they do not have cytoplasm rather they actually have blood and it's not just like oh some weird red liquid it is called blood but that provides a huge existential question namely if the cells bleed blood do those blood cells that the cells are bleeding are they also just much smaller anime uh, anamorphized individuals how far does it go is it anime girls all the way down these are the questions that i need answers to sean well i've browsed enough reddits to realize that it indeed is anime girls all the way down but also at the same time man you focus on the weirdest parts of of a show that don't really need to be brought up Oh, but 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 Sean, just like like imagine, imagine for a moment, right? Th- this is how this is my ideal ending for the show because they not only could they bleed anime girls from them, but all of them they might not be in a normal human body. This whole show could take place in another blood cell individual, right? So what I would love after all the see after all the show is over, it pans out. It starts panning out, and then eventually you see that a person, and you're like, "Wow, that's who they've been in all this time." But wait a minute, that person looks like like a red blood cell, and it keeps panning out, and it shows the entire city, and it keeps panning out to show yet another blood cell that that blood cell was inside of. And it just keeps on going. You get a live stream going on that's still going to this day. You just never let it stop continuously just panning out and out and out. I I want that sense of confusion. I want that that sense of bewilderment to to never end. I want this to be some, like, eldritch, unfathomable nonsense. You know what, Remington? You are the eldritch, unfathomable nonsense of this show. I feel like you yourself should provide that. Look in a mirror, Remington, and you'll you'll get that (laughs) feeling. Oh, my, man. My God, man. You're the kind of person that would worry about uh, how the cars in the hit Pixar movie Cars would reproduce. I mean, that is a very... Yes! I Did you not hear the Banania episode? That's half of what I talked about. <laughs> 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 like these are these are the questions that I have and I need I demand answers. Okay, okay. See, I had those que- same questions too, but I'm not as interested in in this uh this re- this uh anime girl recursion theory you have going on. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to get down to, like, the nano level of anime girls and it's just going to look at me and say Desu. I don't think that's going to be the response I get. (laughs) Remington Chase's anime girl recursion theory... Uh, is it, just one hell of a, a title. Uh, that, that, that is good. The anime girl recursion theory, uh, is going to go on our album that we inevitably release with our many musical talents. Uh, <laughs> along with Danny DeVito? <laughs> yeah, yeah, along with, with Danny DeVito. Uh, oh, did we, did we even have Danny DeVito in, was, was he salvaged or was he? Yes, Danny, Danny DeVito did was Did the listeners the hear? Habit. Okay, cool. It was us covering our butts uh, for audio quality, if you recall. Oh, of course. Okay, I just need to make sure. Oh, but you know what? They The listeners missed, and I'm not going to explain it further. They missed our entire lore about Mr. Cthulhu's classroom. <laughs> they missed all of that, which was brilliant, by the way. <laughs> it was brilliant, and the audience will never hear it. Uh... Yeah, no, no, that'll definitely be a revelation that'll be lost to the annals of history. I mean, my... Feel free, uh, listeners, to speculate what Mr. Cthulhu's classroom was all about. I mean, they're just going to come to the same conclusion I did, uh, based on the law of numerous anime, so... (laughs) (laughs) Like, Uh, that was... But, but, yeah, so overall, uh, I would have loved to see... Uh, we, like I would have loved to see cells at work either focus a lot more on like the sort of mundane slice of life stuff uh, or alternatively anime girls all the way down. And so one of the two is is what I would have preferred. It's okay as it is. It's fine. It's just not much more than that. Man, even hearing it a second time, it doesn't make me any happier because you just like, I can't tell what I hate more, Remington. Whether or not you despise a show I love dearly to your deepest core or your the apathy you show towards shows that I think are just okay. I mean, hey, Sean, at very least, Cells at work is better than JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, so it's fine. Oh. Uh, there's always solace in that. Okay. <laughs> That's how we're gonna do this, huh? <laughs> 
that's how you want to do this second salvage recording. Yeah. See, you, in, in the in the first one, like obviously Sean was angry, uh, but uh, this one, I in the I feel like I need to to keep you authentic, Sean. So I need to really fan those flames. Uh huh. You do realize that there are several JoJo's references in Cells at Work, right? Oh God. Oh no. Yo, because guess what? JoJo's influenced the entire anime industry. Uh, but why? It's not a good show. You are like one of maybe five people who think that, Remington. It's so bad. It's it is, so bad. It is not. But this isn't about the quality of JoJo's or the lack thereof. When it comes to Cells at Work, like if if you want to just turn something on and, and chill for a while while watching it, if you're super into biology uh, or if you, there's probably like a platelets compilation out there. You can just go watch that. That Those are the best bits. Jesus uh, are they not the best bits, Sean? Come on now. I mean, the platelets are great. Tell me tell me what is better than the platelets in Cells at Work. Something in Cells at Work that is better than the platelets, I'm listening. I mean, I like the show as a whole. If it was just the platelets, I don't think it would be as interesting. I, I think it would be more interesting. Uh, I think it could be super charming. Like, you see them just all struggling to accomplish basic tasks. Uh, it, it, I would love, just give me banana style show but it's just the platelets right so it's it's silly it's ridiculous it's a few minutes for every episode and it's just the platelets they're every episode that lasts like five minutes or less they're just struggling with a new task tell me you would not be all in on that i mean yes i would enjoy that but boom there we go that's all that needs to be said okay except here i'm gonna break your heart a little bit uh as far as cell size goes platelets are actually fucking massive in comparison yeah but it doesn't matter sean they're a they're absolutely a adorable in the show that's all i give a shit about if you want to make them giant i'm okay with that too as long as they keep everything else about them attack on platelets oh fuck yeah brother oh you have just made cells at work and attack on titans so much better with that one sentence oh god you're like gonna, you're gonna invent some <laughs> other flames right there my man uh, we, we still get a lot of hate for, for Attack far, on Titan. By far our most controversial episode is the Attack on Titan episode because uh, my personal biases were very apparent in it. And uh, yeah, that just kind of amplified into yours. So we get a lot of hate about that. So it'll be interesting when we return to it to recover <laughs> old ground. Oh, can't wait. Because uh, it, I feel like people are going to be more upset if my opinion doesn't change, which is a rarity in this day and age. Okay, so ultimately, Remington, your views on sales at work are just a difference of opinion and I'm gonna have to live with that because if I don't I'll just get you know more and more angry and then next thing you know I'll be trying to murder you through the power of the internet which I, it's not a power I've perfected yet but I'm working on it believe me hey some say difference of opinion I say that I'm right and anyone who disagrees is objectively wrong it's just how we communicate so uh how's that uh running for office going for you <laughs> It's going as the voice of the people, uh, elected by everyone, I assume. Uh, it's going very well. Your policies are the best policies and no one can say otherwise. <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, uh, of course. I, I would give a, a more contemporary, uh, really, really updated joke right now. Uh, however, I don't want to alienate some homies. So, God bless America. Uh huh. God bless America and God bless New Webia. New Webia is the nation I'm founding. Uh, it, it's it's for uh new weebs who don't have bad taste. Uh, <laughs> okay. I expect it. I expect it to be sparsely populated. Uh, however, it's not going to be populated at all, Remington. By definition, <laughs> all weebs have bad taste, and therefore you have bad taste. Well, first of all, I'm not a weeb. I am. I am the leader of New Webia, but I am not a weeb myself. I'm an outsider reforming the system uh coming within uh that that's that's where i belong whatever you say adolf <laughs> okay fine with that all that being said remington i have one final question to ask you yep uh would you be interested in watching some more cells at work with me uh i don't know maybe like in the background or something did you suddenly learn how to speak japanese remington yeah listen i i will have it on the dub i do not need subs subs dubs it's all fine it's all the same anyway you haven't listened to a really bad <laughs> dub have you uh i mean i probably have but it was when i was probably when i was really young and didn't notice or care so yeah no trust me it, it can handle it i don't i haven't listened to the cells at work but uh i'm sure it's fine <laughs> uh 
<laughs> all right. And with that being said, thank you all so much for tuning in. We really appreciate it. Before we get out of here, though, we do have just a little bit of house cleaning that we got to do. Uh, for those of you who do not know, we have a Patreon. If you enjoy our content and want to help us make more of it, as well as gain access to all kinds of uh, new weird bonus content, then you can toss a couple bucks our way and you will have access to all kinds of strange and interesting content from uh, the three of us. Uh, and one of those bonuses of being on our Patreon is the chance to be uh, shouted out live on the podcast. So Remington, I'd like to, I'd like you to tell me who the lovely people who uh, treat, think of us nicely enough to support us. Who are they? What do they have? Well, to say? first, first, I just want to address in the initial recording of this, it was an utter clusterfuck. So hopefully this goes smoother. <laughs> Uh, I just can't wait for you to repronounce some of those names. Oh boy. So, of course, we would like to send our hearts and thanks out to all of our bland bitch protagonists, as well as our magical girls, but then a tier above, we have the nice and psychotic Yandere waifus who love and appreciate us in a terrifying manner. We have Anne Miles to go, Sarah Birch, Kazu Morocco, Leos123, Hayden Lecker, Anonymous Gamer, Ultimate5401, Yuliana, Salty Pretzel, Glenn Michael Dolan, Ross Palmer, Jacob Living Houston, Xerix, H. Wood, Kyle King, Farmer Weeb, Alexander Nasincenio. I think that's the most successful I've done that so far. That one Either Weeb. That or you just started the opening of The Lion King. <laughs> Possibly. Chuck57. Uh, Andrew Rawicki. And then, above our crazy yandere waifus, we're putting the knife away, and instead we're picking up the wand, we're going over to Hogwarts and shouting out our boy wizards. Which, of course, we got Brady Weinbarger, we got Rich Huffnagel, and we have Chase Fredette, all of them banding together to defeat the Dark Lord and he who must not be named, uh, and doing a damn good job, might I add. Uh, actually, Remington, those are the two same person, so uh, no, you didn't no. need to separate them. If, 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 if I address you, if I'm like, oh, yes, my good friend, he's Weebmaster Prime and a terrible ginge, Sean Rollins, it works, so shut the fuck up. Then! <laughs> that is mildly racist. <laughs> <laughs> then, uh, no, I, I, Ginge can be great people, just not you. Uh, then... <laughs> You are the most fake woke person I know. <laughs> then moving on up. How many gay friends do you have, Remington? I'd love to know that. I I mean, I have, I have plenty of, of gay friends and I, I love all of them. Uh, ginger friends, those are the ones you need to look out for. Uh, <laughs> as we all know. Uh, I, I, I want to send my heart out to to all... You know, I, I love all, all gingers too. Minus one. Uh, oh, I see. <laughs> And then we reach the highest peaks, the highest hills, and then upon this hill is the White House. We're going to the Shefana Musco tier, where we, of course, have our patron saint himself, none other than saint. Then we got the flip side of things, down in the burning sulfur and fire, the almighty sinner, and then Zachary Shirley, who is surely getting sick and tired of this joke by now, and then we have someone who is sick and tired of being just a yandere waifu they want in the white house they want to have a black chef as a dad they okay. want to have all those privileges okay you they want the to be to chef not the say that you had the chance to not say that you had the chance to redo that entire bit but no you double downed on it you motherfucker and of course i'm talking about cassidy justin uh thank you guys so much Your generosity is absolutely overwhelming and enormous to, yes, to, all really our our, <laughs> to all of our patrons to all of our patrons thank you no matter how stupid <laughs> remington's comments are <laughs> they love it uh, mm, i'm the man of the people i speak for the people yeah whatever you say lorax <laughs> i am the lorax of new weebia bitch yeah <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm waiting for that fan art to come out. Oh, God. It's just going to be a little... T it's going to be just a very hairy Tribble with a bunch of weebs around him. Oh, boy. Uh, but they're they're new weebs. They're they're completely separate categorization. Yeah, and they'll have t-shirts saying as such. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, and if you find that, especially in these hard times, that you can't really afford to send us, uh, uh, support us monetarily, that's perfectly okay. We completely understand. In fact, we want you guys to focus more on taking care of yourselves before you decide to start uh, supporting us. Uh, but if you still want to support us in a way without money, uh, I have a very convenient way for you to do that. Uh, if you would just be so kind as to go on over and give us a review on whatever podcasting platform you listen on, whether that be Apple Cop- I like- I liked the use of plodcast. Plod- yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I feel- feel like we do a plodcast and it just never ends. I mean, you know, over two years at this point. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, well, we'll try that line again. Okay. Uh, if you want to support us in a way that is not uh, directly correlated to uh, monetary gains. Now, that just sounds weird. Uh... Okay, let, let's take it from the top, Sean. Let's do this. Uh, but if you are not in a position to help us uh, out directly through Patreon, uh, and believe me, we understand, times are tough, and we want you to take care of yourselves first and foremost, uh, I do have an alternate way for you to help us out. What you can do is you can leave a review on whatever podcasting platform you listen on, whether that be Apple Podcasts, Podbean, Stitcher, Spotify, or a good way to help us grow is also word of mouth. And if you would like to contact us directly, whether it is for a comment, question, feedback, or recommendation, then you can either tweet us at AnimeConPod on Twitter or send an email over on to AnimeOutOfContext at gmail.com. We're a bit behind on, like, tweeting and Patreon rewards. We're trying to catch up. Things are crazy. Thanks for y'all's patience. We'd like to say it's due to the plague. Uh... <laughs> Not just sheer incompetence. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna lean on that crutch a little bit. Uh, <laughs> uh, but we 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 uh, do read absolutely everything as they come in. It's just responding is kind of it's kind of a a, a giant of a task if that wasn't not too terribly. As, obvious. as is writing fan fiction for for the the numerous people who need it. Good God! <laughs> yeah, we're we might have to make some some tweaks to that tier so that it's, we'll figure it out. Yeah, everyone, we'll figure... everyone who's on the fifty dollars tier right now, they will get they will get their fan fiction. God damn it! Yep, even if it kills us, uh, it will it will kill at least me. Sean always writes fan fiction in his spare time. He just doesn't admit it. He stores it in his collection of Dokimakras. Yeah, uh huh. Hundreds of pages. That's how he fills every Dokimakra. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very it's a very loud crunchy sound. It's very. It's very unpleasant oh for most folks, but I like Good old, it. D don't you just love? I like. I like my waifus. Like I like my potato chips, loud and crunchy, baby. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> oh, why? What, it when now, do we do Sean, this podcast? Now. Oh God. Okay. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Stay safe. Wash your hands. And as always, don't fuck your sister. Do 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 do.